Hey y'all, welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. I am out in my garden today, um, cause I wanna talk to you guys about something. I was out here last night, uh, trying to weed whack rows that had become so overgrown that it, weed whacking was extremely difficult. Um, the weeds were as tall as me in some areas. Um, this summer has been rough, as I've talked about many times. Basically, I had intended, kind of had planted this garden intending on stopping working um, as a nurse and doing this full time. Unfortunately, that just didn't happen. Um, it didn't become feasible. And actually now we're not doing markets and I'm gonna be working more as a nurse. Um, so quite opposite from what I was thinking when I planted this garden. So with that in mind, I planted a lot and kind of overextended myself. Um, I was still working two days a week. Uh, I was doing two markets a week and I have the kids with me all the time. Um, they're always with me when, when I'm home. So basically this just, it became too much. Um, weeds got ahead of me. You know, when I'm in the garden one to two days a week, that's not enough uh, to keep up with weeds for a 15,000 square foot garden. So I was out here last night and just became very frustrated. Um, I was trying to pick drying beans and I could barely get to any of them because of all the weeds and the few that I could get to, a lot, or a lot of them were not dry um, because they didn't have airflow because there were so many weeds. Um, we were able to harvest some. I got a decent amount of black beans, but not nearly enough, uh, not nearly what I should have gotten for what I planted. It's a little windy out here, sorry guys. Um, so I went into my husband and I was like, I'm just, I mean, I was very emotional, I was in tears, uh, I was upset because I did this to myself. Um, and that's I think what the most frustrating part is, like I did this, it didn't have to be like this. Um, but I went into my husband and I said, I think, I think we're going to till the garden one last time. We're going to till because I'll show you guys in a minute, but one area that I'm, I did what I plan on doing next year. Um, and it's already not working. So we had, we whacked this strip down and then put this, um, it's just, it's like a craft paper down and that's what I plan on doing on all the rows. And then we put this is just a um, bag like container mix. But because these weeds were so tall and so big, these stems are so sharp that they're poking right through this craft paper, which the craft paper's thin. Um, and stuff's growing right through it. Obviously, we still do have some lettuce growing, which is exciting. And we're gonna leave this. Um, but this was the plan everywhere. And if the weeds are just gonna pop right through, what the heck am I doing? So I went in and I had said, we need to just reset because then we can do the plan of putting the craft paper down, but on like rows that are just dirt, um, we will re-row, re-hill re everything, and then we can bring compost in. Um, and my husband was like, yes, I think that's smart. I think that's what we should, definitely should be doing. So I decided I'm pretty much, I mean, the garden's pretty much done anyways. It's September 14th and our estimated first frost um, here in zone 5B, upstate New York, is uh, the, beginning of October, October 5th. So we're fast approaching that anyways. Tomatoes are still going a little bit, so I'm gonna leave those. Um, and we had planned on tilling half the garden anyways, where we're gonna put our squash and our potatoes, um, but we didn't plan on tilling everything. So we decided we're gonna go ahead and till. Um, so I took out all the drip tape today and then took the back blade and back bladed everything down, um, except for the tomato area. I'm gonna leave those for just a few more days at least. I'm actually gonna take this row down that's like the stakes, uh, cause nothing's really growing there. Anyways, the cherry tomatoes were all over the ground. So the corn was over there. I took the corn out. Corn didn't really produce much of anything. That was a dent corn. Um, I took that out. I did move the um, tarps over. Obviously I need to put more rocks on the tarps but this is the area the tarps had been. So obviously that killed some stuff. You can see where the, there was a strip where the the two tarps met and didn't actually touch. Um, but this area was gonna be tilled anyways. This area was not, we were gonna keep these hills, but if the weeds are gonna poke right through, that serves no purpose. I'm gonna be back in the same exact boat in no time at all. So I also had thought about doing a change to the layout. Um, all of our rows go this way currently, but our topography goes that way. So it slopes 
this way and it actually slopes a good amount down there you see where my bees are and that's a big yeah you know, it's a it's a good amount down from where we are right now so I'm gonna change and do my rows this way but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna till now um, or soon and then in the spring we will till again um, and we will create rows this way but we'll do one row then we'll put the craft paper down. My husband will come in with the tractor so he doesn't have to drive on any of the other rows that are already made. He'll put compost on that. Then he'll do the next row, compost, and we'll go up all the way. Um, our walkway won't be centered. <laughs> That's on my drip tape. Our walkway will not be centered with this because that would be really short uh, over there. And I don't want to have, unless maybe I'll do a walkway as I'm saying that. Maybe I'll do a walkway here and do rows that way and some rows this way um, just until the point of where the garden's going to be over there. I might do that. I might do that. I got to measure everything out. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I think I like that idea. Aesthetically, I like that idea a little bit more. And I can do some arches over the walkway. I like that. Okay. <laughs> I just got really excited. Um, but either way, we're going to change it. Oh no, we can't, the drip tape. We can't because the drip tape, that's why. So we are gonna have to, the walkway won't be there. <laughs> Just kidding, I got really excited for nothing. The walkway's gonna be kinda over here. And it'll be about half and half, or this is gonna be a little bit, I don't know, about half and half probably. Um, and then our drip tape will go this way, like the main line will go this way, and the all the rows will go that way. And it'll still be about the same amount of rows, I think it'll actually be almost the exact same amount of rows because it's about the same distance this way that we had the drip tape as, as it is this way. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And I know I might get some backlash for saying, oh, I'm not going to till and then tilling again. And people saying, well, you shouldn't till because all you're going to do is create more weeds. I understand what tilling does. I'm very, very educated on this. Um, I also understand that it does disrupt the microbiomes of the soil and and all that, I understand. Um, I, I have done a lot of reading on building soil versus just building dirt or using dirt. Um, that's why I do cover cropping. That's why we, um, you know, rotationally graze our livestock because we want to build soil, not, not just use dirt. Um, so I'm well aware of what tilling this will do and the fact that it's not great to till again. Um, but I think to reset this, I need to because of the way it got away from me this year. Um, and then using the, the paper as well as using the um, woven weed fabric, that combination I think is gonna make this so much more manageable. Um, I'm also gonna be working less next year and not doing markets, so this is gonna be exclusively for us, which is going to be much more manageable. Um, and downsizing is very smart. Um, but that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not, you know, I understand I might get some critique um, but honestly, this is what I need to do for me and to provide food for my family. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. Plus I, like I said, I did want to, I had wanted to reset the rows. Um, but I was like, well, we're not tilling, so I'm not going to do it. That's, you know, I guess I just won't. My hair, I look like I have horns right now. My hair's crazy. Um, but now that like, we're like, okay, I'm tilling, we're going to till, it's fine. I can reset the rows and have them the way they really should be anyways for the way the topography of this land is. So yeah, big changes. Again, I mean, I change my mind all the time and I know that is, that's part of me. That's just who I am. Um, but I think this is a good change and I think this is, my husband was like, this is what I've been telling you to do. If you would just listen. But it's one of those things people can tell me, tell me, tell me. It has to come to me by myself. If other people tell me these things, I tend not to listen. Just ask my mother. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is, I think, going to be better. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, we're going today for a better tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.